next contestant. Reed Schloss. Oh crap. Oh crap. Reed Schloss. I was just getting comfortable with my new summer job at Bradley Scout Camp. And being a member of the kitchen staff, I was starting to adjust to my new schedule. 4.30 start to bake bread. Mop floors just before bed. That night, I was walking out the kitchen doors carrying two bags of trash. I'd made myself I'd actually walked down the steps of the loading dock and halfway across the gravel road heading towards the garbage trailer when suddenly something moved and I froze. And that little voice inside of my head said, oh crap, did you see that? Kind of nodding, my legs started bouncing and then I saw the gate of that trailer start to open and it screeched until all of a sudden it clanged against the, that trailer. And instantly, 14 years of response control training just kicked in and zoom! I'd covered 15 yards of gravel, jumped a four foot wall, and shut myself behind those kitchen doors. Are you scared of the dark? Have you had something keep you from accomplishing something that you wanted to accomplish? Like being scared of the dark? Me neither. I'm not scared of the dark. I'm scared of what's in the dark. <laughs> As a young boy, that experience triggered a week of things that I have tried to forget. And I can't. I had a vivid imagination, and as I looked out the window of the kitchen, I just knew that there was something dangerous out there. It's got to be a bear. Or a Yeti, came a voice from behind me. Susan, our jokester camp cook, snuck up behind me as she was laughing, seeing me dance. No, I, 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 I think it's a bear. Well, I heard that there were bears in camp. Didn't think it would be too long till it found the garbage trailer. Whoa, 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 whoa. You knew that there were bears in camp? When were you going to tell me that there were bears in camp? The person whose tent sits 100 feet from that garbage trailer. Well, I guess you know now. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good night? I couldn't even... What? Uh, how could I even contemplate going to bed with a bear next to my bed? Well, it seemed like hours that I wandered in the dark kitchen, looking out the windows, trying to muster up the courage to go to bed. I looked at the clock. It had been hours. Grabbing my trusty flashlight, I held it as steady as I could. And I looked, because I didn't want to meet my new neighbor. Well, he wasn't there. So I took a breath, walked out those doors, walked down those steps, and I bolted to my tent. In the bottom of my sleeping bag, I waited. And all of a sudden, I got that feeling. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> from my tent to the restroom was a 200 yard dash up a dark and scary road and add a bear to that I did what every scared scout would do I stepped to the tent door and I created a perimeter of pee to protect me from that bear <laughs> and nothing happened that night the pee worked <laughs> the next morning was uneventful in fact, the whole day, nothing happened until I had to go to bed. I had taken five steps away from the loading dock when the beam of my flashlight bounced off of something. What in the world? I almost said, oh, crap. It was a five-foot corrugated pipe, 10 feet long, sitting on a trailer. 
And the end that I was staring into had a great big metal gate on the top. The other end had a crisscross of rebar, kind of a tic-tac-toe affair, and it stunk like rotten fish. Well, my flashlight showed me what it was. There was a white pillowcase, and it was bulging and bloody. And instantly, that little voice in my head said, Oh, crap! It's a bear trap! Have you ever tried to sleep with a bear trap next to your tent? <laughs> it is possible. Have you ever been awoken by a bear trap? From personal experience, I can tell you, it's not an awakening. It's more like being shocked back to life, like in the ER. <sighs> well, the next morning, as I ventured out, with my flashlight, do I look? As I shine my light in the trap, oh crap, it's empty. Have you ever been in one of those dreams where you're trying to run from something and you can't run fast enough and you can't wake yourself up? This was fast becoming one of those experiences. During lunch, I heard a park ranger tell us that this bear had to be a multiple-time offender. <laughs> yeah, or darn right. He was a smart bear. He'd gone to the far end of that trap, reached through the rebar, grabbed that bag of bait, and sat down two feet from my tent and had a fish dinner. And three times that week, that ranger tried to prevent that bear from trying to steal his bait. And three times, I was shocked back to life. <laughs> three times, I looked in that trap and bolted for the kitchen. I was getting tired of being scared of the dark, of being scared of bears in the dark. Desperate for, for sleep, I went to Susan. I said, can you please let me have the afternoon off? I need some sleep. When I awoke, I had an idea. And two of my staff buddies with rope and pulleys and logs and trees and that garbage trailer we created our own bear trap, and we waited that night to catch us a bear. The next morning, as we watched that ranger haul that garbage trailer down the road, it was bobbing and pitching under the weight of not just one bear, but of three. And I felt proud and vindicated, a little less scared of the dark. So the next time somebody parks a bear trap next to your tent, you too can create a bear trap. But my advice? Move your temp first, <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster.